and let's add some content into the system. So I've designed a simple scenario here where I'm going to be adding invoices into the system. Now invoices can come from many locations. Some invoices get emailed. Uh, other invoices arrive as paper and need to be scanned into the system. So what I've done is I've set up a scan documents folder that when I drop things into the folder, it will go ahead and it will route things for indexing to ensure that all of those invoices get handled the exact way. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these invoices. I'm going to scan it in here, or drag it in here. And you'll see here that I get two options for dropping. I can drop it here as a document for immediate upload, or I can drop it here to select my document type to classify it and index it right away. Again, I'm dealing with perhaps many, many invoices, and it may be somebody's job to do this in the organization. And this may also come in from other locations, such as a scanner, or an email queue, or a watch folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And we're going to go ahead and process this from my work queue. Okay, so now what's happened is that a content rule has recognized that an event has occurred in this folder, and that content rule is configured to route objects dropped into the folder for indexing. There's another content rule configured on this folder that when I configure something into the right type or change its type into the right type of object, it will then go ahead and move it again into the proper folder. And that's exactly what we expect to happen. Before we go to My Tasks, I'm going to show you Manage Tasks to give you an idea of what we can do there without spending a lot of time. But here now I go into Manage Tasks, and you can see that here are all the tasks that are out for processing that I'm listed as a manager on. And sure enough, here's my Index 2017 Cash Specialties that just got routed. Now if I go here and select this and select my actions, you can see that I can pause that, I can board it, I can restart it, or I can even flag it. And what a flag means is that I want to add additional information to that task. So I'm going to go ahead and flag this. And now that I should see that flag when I go to process that later that tells uh, the person performing that task that there's additional information that I, I need to provide. So what I'll do is I'll go in here really quick. And I'm going to add a comment. We won't talk much about the screen because we're going to see it in a second. And I'm just going to say, 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 Pay attention to new invoice processing rules um, effective June 1st. I'm going to post that comment. And you can see there it is next to my name. Easy to see that I posted that comment. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, and we're going to go and we're going to process that task. And I'm going to navigate into my tasks. And of course, I'm doing this all as the same user. Generally, these would be different users doing this, but for simplicity for the demo, I went ahead and did this all as a single user. And you see that I have tasks of different types. I have an index task. I have invoice approval task. Uh, and there I am on my work queue. You see, here's my flag column, and here's the task that I flagged. So I know that there's additional information that I need to pay attention to when I look at. 